Good evening, my name is Ewan Clark. I'm a member of the Plus 16 team here at Bradley Stoke. I'm a non-teaching member of staff, having originally trained as a careers advisor. And one of the key responsibilities of my role is to support students with progression and planning for the time um, when they finish their A-levels and at the end of year 11, and ensuring that they have an appropriate and positive destination. This is something that we prioritise um, here at Bradley Stoke. Obviously, getting them great, good grades is important. Um, also, developing a, a range of employability and life skills is also very important. And we also want students to have a good and positive time um, during their time with us. Um, but one of the key um, factors for students, for parents, and indeed for us, is um, working with students to ensure that they achieve a positive outcome at, their end of, at the end of their time with us. And in order to do so, they obviously need the appropriate level of support from us at, at school. Okay, so how do we support our students? Well, we do this in a number of ways. Firstly, um, we do this through our core programme. Now, our core programme is um, half days and full days during the year when students are off timetable. And we invite um, universities, employers, apprenticeship provider, providers, and a wide range of other agencies in to talk to our students. Um, initially, in the early stages of year 12, this is to talk to our students about the opportunities available to them. So as they know, the full range of opportunities available to them, um, which will obviously help them make an informed um, choice about the next stage. Then later on in year, in year 12, we will invite them back in again to talk to our students about how to apply, how to submit competitive application, whether it's for university or apprenticeship or, or whatever. And that's a key part of our provision. In addition to this, we also take um, students on a number of trips during the year. Some of these trips will be for the whole year group to go to. Um, for example, we take uh, all our year 12 students to the UCAS Higher Education Convention, which gives them information um, again, both about university courses and but also about apprenticeships. Some of the other trips that we run um, might be more have a more specific focus. For example, we're taking students interested in apprenticeships or considering apprenticeships um, to apprenticeship conventions and so on. We've also um, taken trip uh, students on trips to employers, some of the big financial companies and law firms in Bristol, where they've laid on. Um, events, information events about their opportunities for, for students um, and they've been very successful. Um, one really good example was last year we took a, a group of students to a Discovery Economics um, event which was um, run by the University of Bristol um, and part of that um, trip involved a competition. I was really proud and pleased to see our students who won the competition um, which actually included the opportunity to uh, attend an international event in Hamburg. Um, in addition to this, we encourage our students um, to participate in a wide range of other opportunities that might be more specific or tailored towards the course that they're interested in or the university they're planning to go to. So, for example, every year, a number of our students go um, on the access to Bristol, um, program run by the University of Bristol. They participate in um, university summer schools, taster days and master classes and, and, and so on. Um, and again, we encourage all our year 12 students to um, do work experience placement, um, which is normally obviously related to the area that they're interested in studying or, or doing an apprenticeship in, in the future. We advertise these opportunities and a very wide range of other opportunities through the school, school newsletter and our post-16 bulletin because we want to make students aware of all the opportunities and support them choosing the best opportunity for them to raise awareness of opportunities and to try out um, apprenticeships or courses that they might be interested in studying and to enhance and strengthen their applications especially when they go for the more competitive opportunities. Over the last four years we've also been working very closely in partnership with the Ministry of Defence in Abbeywood um, and there's a number of 
different strands to this partnership. Firstly, every year they um, run an apprenticeship event where all our students in post 16 are invited to attend if they wish to, to find out about the different apprenticeship opportunities run um, in Abbeywood. And that's been a very positive experience for students. Um, they also provide us um, with interviewers. So every student in year 12 will do a mock interview and they have a team of staff who come in and um, provide those interviews and give students feedback on their um, performance um, in the, during the interview time, something that's key, um, particularly for students looking at apprenticeships. Um, and thirdly, we've run a business mentoring program with them. So that is open to students regardless of what they're thinking of doing in the future, but obviously particularly interesting um, and useful students who are interested in applying for an apprenticeship. Um, it doesn't have to be an apprenticeship with the MOD that they're applying for, but they get one-to-one -one support and um, from a member of staff there helping them put together a CV, um, application form, preparing for different assessment tests they might have um, and so on. And that's been a really positive experience for us. A number of our students have gone, um, who made use of that opportunity of secured apprenticeships with the MOD themselves. Um, and many others have secured apprenticeships with other providers as well. A key part of the support that we provide is delivered through our academic mentors. So each student post 16 has an academic mentor and they'll work with the student on a one-to-one -one basis, helping them to um, explore the different options, helping them to make a decision about which is the best option for them and then help them with the application process as well. We know that students, our students really value that one-to-one -one support as every student's ideas, plans, thoughts, support needs and so on are different and having that tailored individual support is really valuable for them. So in addition to getting support from their academic mentor, they'll also get one-to-one -one support with me um, and for example if students are applying for a um, university they'll have um, work through the personal statement and the course choices with their academic mentor, but then they'll also meet with me prior for those, to those applications being sent off, um, so as we can make sure that people put in really competitive and strong applications in a similar way and um, for students applying for apprenticeships and, uh, and other opportunities. Um, this is important for all students, um, and maybe particularly important for students applying for the more competitive opportunities if they're applying for Oxford, Cambridge, or medicine, veterinary science, dentistry, and so on. There's quite a detailed process where they need to apply early, they need to ensure that any work experience or previous experience is already in place before they apply, and there's sometimes um, admissions tests, and for these courses and we want to make sure that our students are well prepared for them and likewise for the interviews and when they get them as well. And this is also very true for some of the more competitive apprenticeship opportunities that people are going for. There's some fantastic you know, degree apprenticeships available to young people now um, whereby they can get the university fees paid for them, they're in a full-time job, um, and they're often starting on a very good salary, but obviously to secure that kind of opportunity is not easy, so they need to be well prepared and we support them um, with that. I mean, we still get a lot of our students um, going to university, and that's been the case um, since the post 16 centre opened here at Bradley Stoke. But I think a big change has been the development of these degree apprenticeships, which are really you know, positive opportunities for young people, as well as getting people going to Oxford and Cambridge, medicine and so on at university. We've had um, students over the last two, three years getting degree apprenticeships with people like DICE and British Aerospace and some of the big financial companies um, in, in Bristol. And as I said, they've been really positive outcomes for them. Of course, over the last few months, as you know, has been the case for in pretty much every walk of life, um, the um, lockdown and um, COVID-19 has made things a little bit more um, challenging for us. But it's really positive um, to see that universities, employers and so on have been providing a lot of virtual and online activities for young people to participate in. We've made sure our young people are aware of them and the students' response has been really positive. So we've 
and cope with that really well. And we know as we're applying now this year, our year 13 are really well placed um, to secure really good outcomes. Okay, thank you for listening.